What's up, ladies and gents? Today's question comes from my buddy, Rena, uh, and she's saying, when I do the Wake and Juice Lucid Dreaming technique, uh, should I be able to feel my body and hear external sounds when I'm doing it? Um, and she was a bit confused. She was saying, uh, you know, hopefully this goes through to Stefan. Uh, just, just a quick note on that. When you do send me an email, uh, and that's an email to contact at howtolucid.com, I do get through all of them. Uh, sometimes it takes a bit longer depending on like what I'm working on at the time. So say if like recently I've been working on my books, I haven't had a lot of time to, to look at the email, so it's going it, to taken a bit longer. Uh, but nevertheless, um, so Rena, when you're doing a wild technique, there is definitely a period of time where you're switching from being awake to being asleep. Uh, and this period of time can be anywhere from five minutes right up to 10, 15 minutes. Um, it varies from person to person. But during this time, this sort of like in the middle period, uh, so you've got being being awake here, being asleep. The in the middle period um, is, is uh, a period of time where you will feel Sometimes you feel like you're floating, okay? When you feel it, when you experience sleep paralysis, you'll feel like you're being sort of pressed down against the bed. Uh, it really does depend on, on you as a person. It's, no, it's never going to be the same for every single person. Um, so either you will feel like you're being pressed down and, and you're having sleep paralysis, or you'll feel like you're floating. You might feel like you're vibrating. You might hear a buzzing sound. You might hear nothing at all. Um, but commonly, you will sometimes hear like, uh, voices, um, sat, like nature sounds, sort of ambient sounds, maybe the sound of birds or trees or water running, um, and little sort of fragments of conversation. This is perfectly normal, um, but what's happening here is you're transitioning from being awake to being asleep, um, but your, your consciousness is staying active, right? So your mind is staying awake, but your body is going to sleep your muscles are becoming paralyzed. So you will find that not only do you hear things that are in your mind only, okay, um, but you also will hear, uh, for example, let's say you're going to sleep in a, in a in your room and right outside your, your window, it's like a busy street, okay? There's lots of sound and commotion going on. Um, what's gonna happen is when you try a wild in that situation, the sounds that are coming from outside in the real world uh, will sort of mix into that experience that you're having. So you will hear things or like bits of things um, from the real world as you're transitioning into the dream world. And um, especially if you're doing this properly, uh, it's gonna be very difficult to tell these apart. You won't know which things you're hearing in the real world and which things are in the dream or in your mind uh, because your, your consciousness is sort of in that middle ground. You're not awake and you're not asleep. You're sort of in the middle. Um, so it's nothing to be worried about um, and you're not doing anything wrong at all. So keep going with that. Uh, so yeah, just another quick note about my new book, The Reality Checks Guide. Um, I'm not going to give away too much, but if you just search Amazon for Ultimate Guide to Reality Checks or just Lucid Dreaming Reality Checks, this will pop up. Uh, it's a beautifully designed cover and you've got a lot of content in here all about reality checks and how and why they work. If you've been struggling with them at all, uh, especially if you found that they're not showing up in your dreams or they're not working, this little guide here, is what you need to read. <laughs> so go ahead and check that out. If you do pick up a copy, then I'm very grateful. Please leave a review, uh, letting me know what you liked about it. Um, if you've got something you think I could improve on, maybe leave a comment on this video or just send me an email, um, and I do reply to all of them, eventually. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video.